Kel Cat back with another video, man. Just done with work. <sighs> Made some good money tonight, man. And I'm stacking, stacking bread, man. And I'm just, uh, shit, dude. I'm so, I'm so into my dreams right now, dude. You know, I'm so into my dreams, man. I can't believe I let music go, man. I can't believe that I just let some broad talk me out of my dream, man. And, you know, without her saying anything, she really did talk me out of my dream. When I was with my ex-girlfriend a while back and, you know, um, things haven't been the same ever since. But things are getting back. To, things are getting back to be the same, man. Things are getting back. So, you know, I'm just trying to, you know, stay disciplined and stuff like that. You know what? And this, uh, this COVID-19 thing is really got me focused, laser beam focused because, you know, at any day I could die, man. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, if I die today, I was, I, I, I mean, I would have never have saw, saw my dreams come true, you know? Back in the day, I wanted to be a music producer. You know what I'm saying? I haven't done any music since 2013, dude. You know what I'm saying? You know? And from 2013 to now, I mean, until like, you know, last year or this year or whatever, whenever I, I got into shape, man, like, dude, it's like, um... I feel like I was robbed, man, for like years of intimacy with women, man, you know. And that time, in that time, I should have been just focused on getting back into music. And now here I am playing catch up, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, and it's kind of teasing me too, man, because right now I'm talking to a few chicks in, in the Philippines and in Thailand, and they all got curves, man. They got the booty I like. They so fucking far away, though. You know, if I had money, I can fucking reach those broads. You know what I'm saying? <sighs> I'm talking to them on, like, Facebook and shit. Facebook Messenger. You know? I'm like, man, I'm so, like, teased. I'm so, like... <sighs> you know... I want a girl with a big butt, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and then they're far away. Like out here, let me tell you, these females in the U.S. I'm not saying all, but majority of the majority of the females out here, man, they, you just can't keep their attention for for like a long time. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't keep their attention for long enough. Like I talked to a, a few females out here in, in the West. They forget about me within a week or two. You know what I'm saying? We be talking and we be having a conversation online and, you know what I'm saying? Even in real life, you know what I'm saying? But for some reason, women from other countries, they love me, man. They love me. I'm talking to a broad that's nearly an eight. Okay, she's nearly a fucking eight. She, she lives in Thailand. She has a big bottom. The only thing is that she's, like, short. And I don't... <laughs> I'll fuck her, don't get me wrong, but I, I don't want to procreate with her, you know what I'm saying? Because she's too short. She's 4'11", dude. You know? You got another chick that's, you know, um, another chick that's fucking 5'7", you know, but she's, you know, what can I say, man? She's I don't, I don't think her genetics are good. Don't get me wrong. She has a nice body. Nice Kim Kardashian ass, everything. But she has a fucking kid. And not only that, her kids, her kid looked like Barney. I mean, her kid is like fucking overweight and shit. And I'm like, no thanks. It's good to tap though. Good to have sex with her. But, you know, <sighs> Yeah, I, I'm only talking to her for fun, you know, for that attention that I, you know, that I want, you know, the validation and shit, right? So I'm just, I'm only just talking to her for fun. And um, the the other one from Thailand, she sent me 
a fucking picture of her sitting up on her knees, curvilicious for real. I mean, damn, she's sitting up on her knees. Her, her ass is sticking out. You know what I'm saying? On her knees. Curved up. I mean, she, it looked like she got no panties on. You know, so I think she got probably got panties on, but she's hiding or something up on her shirt. But I'm like, fuck, man. That's way over there and fucking... God. It's way over there in Thailand, dude. And I'm like, fuck, dude. I wish I was in Thailand right now. I would be tagging it. She likes me, man. She ain't got no high expectations like a lot of like a lot of American women do. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, w- I could never pull a girl that pretty over here in the U.S. like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, dude, I'm in the next five years, I'm out of here. Once I get my, my hit and I make a few million, I'm out of here, dude. I'm not going to stay here and go broke. Nigga, I'm going to take my two million and go to Thailand. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to be able to live there. You know what I'm saying? I won't be able to stay, but, you know, it's good to be somewhere near, to buy a house somewhere near Thailand, you know what I'm saying? So I could just hop my ass on a plane and go straight to Thailand for like a few weeks, bang some pussy, and come back to where I, wherever I am, you know what I'm saying? It's just like, it, she doesn't have the, what they call it, because she don't, the thing is, she doesn't have any, she don't get that much likes, man. I look at some of her pictures. She got like 16 likes, but she's pretty though. And I'm like, God damn, she's pretty curvaceous, you know, big bum. You know what I'm saying? But she doesn't have a whole lot of likes. She got like 16 likes, 20 likes. I saw one picture she had that had 70 likes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And she doesn't have that, that ego that a lot of American females do. She was, a. Uh, she was a. Uh, she sent me a picture of her legs, and she called her own legs pork legs. Now these legs were thick, you know. They they not no no. She looked good in a bikini. She look she 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 she's uh she's she's thick like Kim like Kim Kardashian, but you know what I'm saying. She calls her own legs pork legs, and I was like, no, baby, God gave you them legs. So don't, don't listen to some of them. The men over there in that country, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you look good. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, the brothers love that. I saw the, the comments she had in, on her profile. They were all black dudes on there. You know what I'm saying? We love that curvaceous shit, dude. You know what I'm saying? She got flat stomach, big butt, nice thick thighs, no cottage cheese at all. Zero. Zero. And I'm like, oh, damn, dude, that's where I'm going to go once I get all my money. I'm not going to stay here in, in America, dude. Nigga, all I need is $2 million and I can live in another country somewhere forever. You know what I'm saying? With $2 million, I'll live in Thailand forever. I'll figure out some, somehow, I'll figure some way to stay out there. You know what I'm saying? They won't let you buy any property in, in Thailand, though. You know, because so that makes it hard for you to stay. I might just rent a spot, you know what I'm saying, just rent forever, you know, some rent a, the, the best condo they got there, you know what I'm saying, and just fuck so many bitches out there, with a condom, of course, you know what I'm saying, just for all, for the catch up, you know what I mean, just to catch up on my, on my life, because I feel like I've been robbed 10 years, or nearly 10 years of intimacy from females, you know what I mean, just, it's been, for the last, like, what, seven, eight years, I've been struggling with females, you know what I'm saying, with, with the dating, you know, out here, because women are so picky, you know, when I was, when I was fat, you know, I didn't get nothing, you know what I mean, when I was fat, I didn't get shit, you know, so I'm focused right now, man, I'm focused, I'm, I'm laser beam focused, you know, this, I don't like this lockdown shit, man, this quarantine bullshit, but you know what? The good thing from it is that I have, I have quit my, my, my bad habits. You know what I'm saying? I'm not distracted by bars or anything, man. It's just like you do. I'm just stacking. You know what I mean? I'm just, I'm just stacking. That's what I'm doing. 
You know, I just need to hurry up and fucking get me a hit. You know, all I need is just a few hits and I'm out of here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't have to stay here because I feel like a lot of dudes go broke here anyway in America. They get a few, they get a few million dollars in their pocket and they go broke. You know, staying here, buying all that bullshit. And they back at working at Mickey D's or something like that. You know what I'm saying? And there's a few cats like that, man. They get rich. Then they spend all their money. Don't invest it. Don't do anything with it. And they end up working uh, at a Starbucks as a manager or something. You know what I'm saying? And I know this one NBA player. He made millions of dollars. Now he's working at Starbucks. Okay. He had millions of dollars and he's working at Starbucks because he didn't do the right thing with his money. He just blew his money, you know, on women and all that other bullshit. And women could make you go broke, man. Well, you know, that's another thing that, you know, when you get rich, uh, females are going to be one that, you know, they're going to want to want you to spend on them. You know what I'm saying? And you, know, you don't want, you don't want that to happen. You don't want, the gold diggers to put you in the poor house. You know what I'm saying? You got to have control spending, you know, but you know, dude, it's like, I always wanted, like I said, man, I always wanted to be a music producer. You know, I'm getting back into it. Me and my nephew, we've been talking about music. He doing some shit with his, his uh, YouTube channel. And I'm just uh, giving them pointers and stuff like that because I know a lot about music. I read a lot of books, you know, and I read a lot of books. I'm very knowledgeable, but I don't have the right people around me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to get back into it, find my uh, my young talent and uh, produce them, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to get back to making beats this time around. I don't, I don't have all that time to be sitting at keyboards and making beats. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to buy beats from people, you know, and just upload the beats on my on my computer or import the beats into my computer and uh, just break down the beats and, you know, create the, the verses and the hooks and then get, get the artists in there. And that's it, man. You know what I'm saying? But I feel like, you know, that's, it's going to take time for me to get that music equipment. Like I said, I got like 90 days. I got less than that now. You know what I'm saying? I probably got like, like a good, like, you know, uh, 70 days or something like that. You know what I'm saying? To get all my music equipment. I got to have a time limit because if I don't like put a time on when I'm supposed to get it, then I, I'll take my time. And if I don't have my music equipment by the time the 70 days is up, then that means I was bullshitting unless I lost a job. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's what that's the reason why you put a time limit on yourself, man, or a time limit or a deadline. That's what they call it. A deadline where you're supposed to have it done. So that way you won't you won't be looking up a year from now and you just, you, you still don't have the the shit that you that you need. You know what I'm saying? And you'd be like, OK, what what have I been doing? OK, I've been bullshitting. It's, then then so the thing is, when the deadline shows up, you ain't got it. You still got a job. Then. Who who who's to blame? It's you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You ain't got nobody to blame but yourself if you ain't got that music equipment. Because all I need is a few thousand dollars to set up, get a set up, like two grand. You know what I'm saying? So anybody can save up two grand in, in 90 days, you know? You know, even if you're working at McDonald's, you can save up two grand in 90 days. All you got to do is cut spending. You know, my thing is, it's like, okay, well, if I want to get the big booty whores and the big booty chicks, you know, I'm going to have to sacrifice and do whatever I got to do to get them, man. Because, you know, I got to be realistic about my situation. Am I getting the big booty chicks that I desire? No. If they are, they somewhere in a different country somewhere. And I ain't got, I ain't got that bread to go out there and live like that. You know what I'm saying? I'll be working a, a slave. A, I want to go out there and be living good out there. I don't want to be working a slave job when I get out there. You know what I'm saying? So get rich here, move to another country somewhere else. You know? But, um, I'm just tired of being poor, dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm willing to change, do whatever. I'm tired of, uh, of, uh, not getting the women that I desire. 
I always got to settle for whatever my looks can attract. You know, it's not bad. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't like attract. I mean, I do attract ugly females, but I reject them. You know, I, I, I'll take fives and sixes, man. You know, and that's what that's what comes at me anyway. You know, that's what comes at me anyway. Fives and sixes. You know. There's this girl at Seven Eleven, man. She be giving me some play, and you know she's a good seven, man. She's a good seven, nice tight body, nice genetics, nice baby hair. That's what I call it. She got that baby hair, you know. what I'm saying, you know that that soft hair on the ends, right by her forehead, you know, on the side of her forehead, that baby hair. You know what I'm saying? That's what she got, man. You know, what I mean, she be she be checking me out when I go up in there, man, and I'm like, fuck, dude, I want her so bad, man. She's another another crush of mine. You know what I mean? I miss my crush at uh, at the gym. I miss her, man. I haven't seen her in hell long. You know, she's really she really makes my day, man. The way she looks at me, man, it's like come on, man. I'm teased here, dude. I'm not getting the shit. That's what I'm saying, dude. If I had bread, I could take. Um, if I had a lot of bread, I ain't talking about just making a hundred thousand. Yeah, I'm talking about making over a million. I could take her away from her boyfriend, dude. I could convince that bro to, hey, get into, get into my Ferrari. Fuck your man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, that's when that's what you got to do, man. You got to get rich. You know what I'm saying? And then you have control over your life, man. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you want that broad. You know what I'm saying? Even though she got a boyfriend, let you pull up in that Lamborghini while she get in. Watch that bitch get in. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, dude. I want. Let's get rich. That's what I'm saying, man. Now fuck all this struggling and shit. Let's get rich, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I always had dreams about getting rich anyway. You know what I'm saying? I just got distracted. <sighs> Took a little bunch of wrong turns. Made a bunch of wrong decisions. It's time to get back on the grind, man. It's not too late, but we got to hurry up. I'm on a time constraint right here man it's like i want to hurry up and get this shit on man hurry up get a hit matter of fact get about 10 hits on my belt you know then leave the country i could do that in five fucking years okay five years to get do all that by 45 i'll be leaving the country and i'm gonna spend the next 30 years in another country somewhere somewhere fucking all the big booty booty bitches that i could fucking fuck okay Cause I've been deprived. I felt I've been deprived of big booty bitches. I haven't had a big booty in my face in so goddamn long. You know what I'm saying? All this social media fucked up everything, but it fucked up everything for everybody, for all the dudes. I mean, not just for not not for women. Women they benefit from social media. The dudes, unless you're a child of Tyrone, man, you ain't gonna get a whole lot of pussy thrown at you, man. You know what I'm saying? I just feel like all the Chaz and Tyrones are taking all the bitches. I, I'm not. I'm not hating on the Chaz and Tyrone because some of my followers are 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 Tyrones. I don't know if I I got any Chaz that follow me, but I know some of my my followers are 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 are, Ty, are Tyrones. You know what I'm saying? I know some of my followers are Ty, Tyrones, and I'm like, okay, I'm not. You know, I'm not hating on you guys. I know you guys getting pussy because you need to. But you know what? It's like, you know, I'm not I'm not getting my share of the big booties. You know what I'm saying? I'm not, you know, I'm not getting my share. You know what I mean? I I, I want my life to go the way I want it to go. You know, I I don't want to go. I don't want my life to go like, like, like the way society wants to want it to go. I want my life to go the way I want it to go. You know, I don't want to have a unhappy ending like a lot of like older dudes you know they get older they get they get out of their prime they can't attract women like around 50 years old they can't they can't get women because they broke and they out of looks you know what i'm saying i'm trying to enjoy my looks the way i got it right now dude like i know my looks are not gonna fucking like last forever i know i know i i just know it's just like it's gonna be a point in my life where i'm not gonna be able to get shit you know what i'm saying and at least you'll have a whole lot of money to, to attract something. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing worse, but, you know, ain't nothing worse getting to your, like, late 40s or your 50s and you just incel. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, and a lot of you short niggas, if you short and ugly, you know what I'm saying? You niggas better be on that money grind, man. You better be getting millions of dollars in the bank, man. But I heard a lot of times where some dudes, they make a lot of money. They're driving an M3. You know, they're making over 300000 a year. And they short and ugly, but they still can't get women. I'm like, damn, nigga. Damn. I ran into this one dude. He was an Indian dude. He had uh, something, something, going on, something going on with his hands. Um, he was short and I, I think I told you guys about this dude, man. I picked him up when I was doing Uber a while back and he was short and, and he was ugly. He definitely was ugly because he, he had cross eyes. His eyes was crossed. You know what I mean? You know, and, um, he was short and ugly and he had something going on with his hands. I forgot. It, it just looked like, you know, Michael Jackson disease or something going on. And he said, man, I'm making up all this money. I brought me a house. I, got, I drive an M3 Mercedes Benz, you know, was no, it was an M3, M3 uh, BMW or whatever. And, and I still can't get women. Where are the women at? He still can't get them. He's not making enough. 300,000, not enough for, for some of these fine females to fuck with a small, tiny, you know, short dude that's, you know, and he Indian too. You know, Indians are Indian dudes are not the most desired. You know what I mean? So it's like, you know, he gonna have to make more than that. That's the reality. If you're short and ugly, nigga, you you gotta be pulling in the millions, blood. You gotta have a lavish lifestyle. We're not talking about just three hundred thousand a year. That's not enough. Now, some of you guys say, "Well, I make about you know a hundred thousand a year. I still can't attract women." No, nah, you gotta make more than a hundred thousand a year. If you ain't, if you're not attracting them, then you're not making enough. You might want to try triple, quadruple that that amount that you're making every year, six hundred thousand or a million dollars a year. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? It's just like that's what that's that's the odds, man. They're stacked against you if you that if you don't have any looks. Now me, I don't know when I'll get become successful in life i don't know when but i'm gonna try to i'm gonna try to fucking get become successful before i run out of looks okay before i run out i want to at least be somewhere between 40 and 45 i want to have some type of looks going on so that way i won't be you know just attracting women with just money okay i quit alcohol basically so now i look younger you know what i'm saying i'm not drinking any alcohol as you can tell, you know, I'm talking better and shit, you know, you know, I mean, I'm more clear when I talk and shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, that alcohol fucks you up, man. It fucks you up. That's why I haven't, I haven't had any, I don't, I don't know when the last time I had a drink. I don't even know, dude. I, I quit drinking before the lockdown, Pro probably like a, a month before the lockdown or some shit like that been a couple of months since i had a drink you know so the truth hurts blood you know what i'm saying like you know some of you girl uh, some of you dudes can't get girls can't get chicks and i, I can't get the chicks that I, I desire like you know some some dudes are saying well at least you get something you know but i i'm not getting the ones that I, that, that i really desire look I, i'll fucking like, forgive a chick for having an ugly face if she has a big butt, okay? She has a nice, big, round apple ass. I'll forgive her for having a messed up face, okay? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Well, she got to have some breasts, too, you know what I'm saying? To make up for that messed up face, you know? Some breasts and ass. Now, I'll forgive her, you know? But, you know, it seems that women don't forgive dudes who got a messed up face, and a swole body, like Mike Tyson, he was fucking, I'm going to use him as a prime example over and over again. He was a, he has a, he had a buff body, but an ugly face. And, you know, and that's why he was accused of rape because he didn't have that face. Now, if he was Denzel Washington, he would have never fucking been accused of rape. You know what I'm saying? Because women will like to have Denzel Washington anyway at, in his prime. Denzel Washington in his prime, you know? Or 
or you know Leonardo DiCaprio or you know Brad Pitt all these other like uh smooth uh um Rico Suave motherfuckers <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I mean you know Chris Brown and shit you know what I'm saying it's just like these women don't mind getting fucked by these dudes because they got looks there is no rape going on with Chris Brown. You know what I'm saying? But there was a rape thing going on with Kobe Bryant. Kobe Bryant didn't have a, he didn't have a good face. You know what I'm saying? There is such thing as him him, you know, getting a rape allegate uh uh accusations or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Rape accusations. False rape accusations, I mean. So so that's what I'm saying, dude. It's like, it's all about that face. Now, man, the thing is, since I quit alcohol, my face looks a lot better. You know what I mean? I look younger. You know, the only thing is, man, I'm kind of losing my hair. And um, what else is going on? Um, my, I don't have that, that smooth baby skin on my face like I used to when I was younger. You know, I'm starting to get rougher. My face, my skin is starting to get rough, like on my face. You know what I'm saying? But the features are still there. That's the only good things going on my 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 features. As long as I'm keeping keeping the fucking body fat low and low percentage, I'll be able to attract. You know, it's that weight that fucking gets you, man. It's the weight that fucking makes you unattractive. But anyway, I'm gonna end this video, man. I got some um, grinding to do tomorrow. I'm just going to keep on stacking for these music equipment, man. And I'm, like I said, man, I'm tired of being poor. I'm tired of being powerless. Okay. I'm tired of that shit, dude. I know you guys are too, man. That's why I say you guys got to get on your grind, man. You know, I'm just tired of fucking just on the outside looking in, you know, on the outside looking in all the time. It's depressing sometimes. But, hey, if I keep pushing forward, by this time next year, I'll be in a different spot. You know what I mean? You guys have a good night. Subscribe to the channel if, you, if you're new. And click, the notification, click the notification bell button so you'll never, ever miss another video from me. Smash that like button, man, and I'm out.